Okay, 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 okay. So listen, today is Monday, the 22nd of January, and the official WWE 2K24 trailer has dropped. Um, I have a little bit to say about it, but you know, it's gonna give me more. T when I get more information about the game and all that, then I will be truly basing my opinion off of you know what i receive because 2k23 i purchased the legendary edition thinking that it was going to be like up there with some of the smackdown versus raw games not saying that 2k23 was trash but it wasn't the greatest like it wasn't groundbreaking the only reason me saying this because all of my expectations most of my expectations were not met like have been certain theme songs for superstars like for instance i thought uh the kane slow slow chemical i believe one of the kane if not kane's best theme song in wwe wasn't in the game for his model randy orton old theme song i forgot what it was called uh wasn't in the game which i was expecting it to be that's why i paid a hundred and some dollars for you know to, to get regardless of the situation uh i don't believe that they're gonna have any other theme song that i think they're gonna have in the game like they didn't have last year or this year whatever the fucking case may be but i don't know certain things about 2k23 just it's lackluster to me that's why i really haven't played the my rise or i played the my rise let me rephrase that why i haven't uploaded the my rise uh i don't know man i just don't see myself getting legendary edition again now don't get me wrong it's probably a few of y'all that's already gonna get the legendary edition just off of the cover of the game like how it look but for me i'm not trying to get bamboozled again bro because i had high expectations of things that i thought would be implemented new things that'll be implemented but it's just recycled bro like i'm pretty sure y'all can implement like body damage like if you're doing chops a whole lot of chops somebody chest should be able to turn red or have scars on their body if you hit them with a kendo or you know things like that should have been in a wwe 2k game but unfortunately since 2k take two interactive is in control of wrestling games they're going to give us the bare minimum like i you can't get excited for the bare minimum because i know what a wrestling game is capable of having and doing to excite the consumer pretty much because why don't blood on 2k23 end up on like you know the other person's body Say, for instance, I'm, you know, L.A. Knight and I'm punching Randy Orton in the head and he's leaking. I should have blood on my knuckles or like my arm somewhere, bro. But no, blood is glued to your character and it's going to stay there. And it's not even it's not even blood that, that runs. It's blood that just stay there. It looked like I'm not even going to get into it, bro. It, it just makes me upset. But don't get bamboozled, people, please, because I would just hate for this franchise to go down the same road as the nba 2k franchise bro because what they do over there to the nba 2k community is absolutely absurd bro absolutely absurd coming from somebody who you know i play bro like i ain't got much i ain't got nothing else more to say bro i might drop some more information on the game later but for now don't get bamboozled.